Alright, chapter 7. Oh, we're back to being him. Alright, this is the address. I'm glad I was finally able to get a day off so I could come down here. I've never been to this part of town. It's kind of neat though. Alright, Jaren, remember, you're on a quest. Let's check and see what kind of clues I have so far. So, I know Anna left her phone number on a, res on a receipt for a ramen restaurant in this area. And that's about it. Perhaps by doing a little bit of investigating, I can find another clue. Detective Jaren is on the case. I should start by gathering some intel. Maybe I should ask around and see if anyone knows Anna. Obviously not these people. Okay, that's not an option. This is really cool. Too bad you can't go outside. Anyway, I don't think this decorative Pogata uh, is what I'm looking for. I should check the nearby stores for clues. Looks like the ramen restaurant. I haven't had lunch yet. No, focus, Jaren. Gotta find Anna. Wait, this is the restaurant. I don't know what that says. Um, hello, I was wondering if you could help me out. Sure, how might I be a service? There's this girl, Anna. She gave me her number, but I got smudged, so I'm trying to find her. You know if she works on here or something? There isn't any Anna that works here. I don't know any regulars by that name either. You could try next door. Lots of people who work around here come in from lunch pretty regularly. I'll keep asking around, thank you. That's a Hall of Fame for something called the Spicy Ramen Challenge. There are only four people here. Oh my god, it's Anna. She won the Spicy Ramen Challenge? That's so cool. I mean, this picture looks a little younger, but it's definitely her. The first clue, Anna's picture here, is the proof that I'm on the right track. I'm pretty great at this investigation stuff. Now I just need to find someone who recognizes her so I can get more info. 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 But how am I going to show them this picture? Hmm. I mean, we can take pictureception time. Perfect. Now I have a picture of Anna I could show around. Hey, do any of you play Space Knight phone game? Nope, but we raid in the MMO. Yeah, I'm a level 80 Mind Fist, and he's a level 80 Song Lord. Whoa, that's hardcore. Uh, whoops, I forgot that. Have you guys seen this girl? Didn't you just take that picture? Did you come spitting with the reigning champion just now? <laughs> no, I know her from somewhere else. I just didn't have a picture. I'm trying to find her. Sorry, man, I don't know anything except that she's the Spice Champ here. Dang. Sounds like a business meeting. Why swell a perfectly good lunch at the work? That's what I want to know. A nice family meal at the ramen shop. My parents were more of the pizza and burrito type. I don't know about pizzas and burrito. Are you talking about the book club or something? About golems and guineas? Genies? Sounds like a rad book. Okay. Sign talks about the history of the Pagana. Cool. Bodaga. Pogat. Oh. Um. Wow, cool swords. How awesome would it be to have one of these on my dresser? Robber come in, can't mess with me. I got swords, yeah. Yeah, with that price tag though, maybe I'll stick with my middle school baseball bat. Hell, I don't blame you, sir. Oh, I saw one of those in the anime once, you know. Oh, these tea tables, that, these tea sets are cool. Some are greenish, bluish, the set in the back looks like it's made of mud. Yeesh, these are really expensive. And I was right, people take their tea very seriously. But they have a whole warehouse full of imported knickknacks in the back. I was wondering, if you need anything, you can ask the man at the front desk. Oh, I was just going to ask, I'm very busy, anything you need? Yeah, the front desk can help you are. Okay. Rude. Meh. No. What a wonderful... I'm a dwarf, you're me. 
Um, yeah. I should at least introduce myself first. Oh, yeah. Welcome to Be Bunny. Where's a, where a smiling heart is a smiling day. It's a smiling day. Uh, can help you find anything. I'm looking for this girl named Anna. I think she might might live or work around here. Sorry, I don't know any people named Anna, but have you seen our monogram BB Bunny keychain? And I bet your girl Anna would love one. No, that's okay. I'm really just looking for her. If you got her one of these adorable BB Bunny XL plushies, I bet she would find you. I don't I don't think that would work, but thanks anyways. Let me know if I can help you with anything else. This is the girl I'm looking for. Do you recognize her? No. Wait a minute. I do actually. Really? Yeah, this is the champ in the Hall of Fame at the ramen shop down the street. I eat lunch there almost every day. This is just a picture of that picture. This is just a picture of the picture on the wall. Yeah, I wanted to show the picture around. I was hoping someone would know anything else about her. Sorry, bun. I can't help you with that. I only know her from the picture. Oh, carrots. Hmm. Sounds like this is pretty cute. Too bad I haven't used pencils in since grade school. I know, right? There's BB Bunny neck pillows, music box, thermos, picture frames, bow ties, tape dispensers. What's next? Waffle makers? Wait, there's a waffle maker. Not my style. Hi. Welcome to BB Bunny or whatever. What do you want? Uh, so this might be weird, but I'm looking for a girl named Anna. Don't know any Anna. Are you sure? I think she comes to these streets a lot. Nope, don't know her. Can I buy anything or what? Oh, uh, no, sorry, whatever. I think you do. Would you happen to recognize this girl? Oh, <laughs> that is Anna. Yeah, I know her. Really? That's great. Do you know where I can find her? No, I don't know where to find her, but I can do you one better. I know her real name. And it's just her big girl name. Really? No wonder she, no one recognizes the name Anna. So what is her name? Do you like this girl, Anna? Yeah. Tell you what. You help me in my love quest, and I'll help you in yours. Um, okay, what does that mean? There's this guy in the antique store next door. I like him. He likes me too, but we never have any time to talk because of our super managers. They have like this rivalry thing, rivalry thing or something. I tried going over there to talk to him on my break, but his super manager always kicks me out because I work here. If you can get his manager to leave... I'll tell you Anna's real name. Alright, deal. Thanks, bro. Let me know when the coast is clear. Okay. So we're helping somebody else with their love story. Welcome to Korea's Get Real Goods. I'm Lance. What can I do for you? So weird of a question, but do you happen to know anyone named Anna? Anna, I play in band with sometimes. Is that who you're looking for? Uh, maybe. What's she look like? Red hair, pale skin, wears black and white. No, no, that's not who I'm looking for. Thanks anyway. Okay. You recognize this girl? Nope. Not even a little. She looks kind of like the one actress, I guess. The one in the movie Adore. I'm pretty sure it's not her. Yeah, no. Thanks anyway. Well, again, what can I do for you? Uh, talk about the rocker. Talk about... Talk, uh, Devin. Did you know that Devin at the BB Bunny store likes you? Yeah, I like it too, but my boss doesn't like it when his employees are distracted, so I never get to talk to her. Yeah, she told me she wants me to distract your boss so she can come over and come over here and talk to you. Really? That's awesome. Yeah. So what's something that would make your boss want to leave? Ah, uh, well, the only time I see him leave the shop during work hours was a few months ago when he thought someone had beat the record of the spicy ramen challenge at the ramen store down the street. He's so proud of having this picture up there. I bet he would leave super quick to try and get that title back if someone actually did beat him. Then that is what I'll have to do. Okay. Kneeling on the ground seems uncomfortable at first, but now I think about it, it's probably pretty relaxing. Oh, it kind of smells like Updog in here, don't you think? I don't know. What's Updog? Nothing much. What's up with you? 
Oh, goodness. Uh, hello, sir. Can I get you anything? No, actually, I was looking for a girl named Anna. Do you happen to know her? I don't know anyone named Anna. To tell you the truth, I don't know anyone, period. I just started working here. An old man here told me he wanted the usual. I told him I didn't know what the, that was. He's a little hard of hearing, so he just kept telling me the usual. The usual. I don't know what that is. Oh, whoa, it's okay. Sorry, it's just that person took over for... Pers that person I took over for, apparently she was really good at this, and it feels like I have some really big shoes to fill, you know? Yeah, I understand. Don't worry, buddy. You can do it. Thank you. Anyway, sorry I got off on a tangent. Don't sweat it. I know you didn't come in here for tea, but you're getting that free cups of soothing milk tea today. Would you like to try some? Take some tea. Yeah, I'll take some. Free tea. Here, here you go. That's our special blend of milk. Let's do it. Cass, why are you handing out free cups of tea? The owners are trying some new promotional tactics. Their daughter used to work here and had all sorts of promotional ideas. This was one of them. Is it working? I can't really tell yet. We just started. Well, free tea is free tea. Please come again. Okay. Mm -hmm. I feel like this game is a lot longer than the one we played before, yeah? How goes the search? Ah, uh, spicy ramen chow. Glad you asked. We're known for our spicy ramen, so we created the spicy ramen contest to so commemorate. Those who can overcome it, it's burning flavors. If you can eat the whole bowl of our spicy ramen in one sitting, you get the bowl for free. Additionally, if you can eat the entire bowl in one of the fastest times, you get your picture taken and put on the wall. You can see our current winners right over there. They're on the wall. Fame. Cool. Hello, spicy food. Would you like to try the challenge? Fuck it. Sure. Can I take the spicy ramen challenge? Of course. It's recommended that you have a beverage with you, dear. With you, dear. I have some tea from the house on the street. That'll be perfect. So, do you feel ready to start the challenge now? Ready, bring on the spice. Alright, just so you know, as per the contest rules, you cannot complete the challenge, you'll have to pay for the ramen. If you do complete the challenge, you have to get you get the bowl for free. Additionally, if you complete it in less than six minutes or thirty three seconds, you get your picture on the wall. Does that sound good? Sounds great, let's do this thing. Alright, take a seat and I'll come out with a minute. Um. There you go. I'll select the timer as you put the chopsticks in the bowl. Okay, Jaren, you can do it. Fair enough. Ooh, this makes me want ramen. Oh my gosh, it's so spicy. I'm dying. I better drink some tea. Ooh, that helped out a lot. It's probably the milk inside the tea. This tastes great. Okay, time to keep going. Ooh, the pain is for the love, Jaren. For the love, or at least for some girl that I kind of like. Great job, you did it. Oh my gosh, that was torture. Well, your perseverant, perseverance has won you a free bowl of ramen. Congratulations. What was my time? Six minutes and 32 seconds. Congratulations. You just barely made it to the Hall of Fame. Ooh. Let me just get your picture. I need some time to get it printed on the wall. In the meantime, here's a certificate. Awesome, thank you. Better go tell the antique store manager the great news. Mwahaha. Manipulation tactic. 10 out of 10. Um. Thought you might like to know. I'm busy if you need. Wait, what is that? It's just my spicy ramen challenge Hall of Fame certificate. I got into the Hall of Fame. Wait a minute. Let me, what was your time? It says here on the ticket that I did 6 minutes and 32 seconds. What? Mission accomplished. Alright, now I gotta go back over to... I think? Yeah? That makes sense. No, not her. You. Is it, I got the antique store manager to leave. What? Really? That's awesome. So will you tell me Anna's real name now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Here, I'll even write down for you. Her real name is Amane Yamamoto. Her parents own that tea shop next door. Now, if you don't mind, I have a boy to talk to. Her grace. Uh, hey guys, I'm going on a break. Alright, but be back an hour. Or whatever.
Amane, no wonder no one knew who she was. And her parents own the tea shop. What a great lead. I better follow it up. All the clues are coming together. Where do I go? Oh, tea. Yeah. Yeah. So this girl and I'm looking for her real name is Amane Yamamoto. Someone said her parents own this tea shop. That's Amane? Oh wow, I'm sorry, I didn't realize. I hear the owners talk about her all the time. The Yamamoto's are in the back room if you want to go back there and talk to them. I'm sure they wouldn't mind. Uh, are you sure that's okay? Yeah, they're always nice and they love hearing about their daughter. They won't mind, okay. Just right through there. Sorry to bother you. This is weird, but I'm, I'm looking for your daughter, Amane. Oh, hello. Are you the friend of Amane's? It's so good to meet you. It's good to know Amane is making friends, especially with a handsome young boy. You said you were having trouble finding her? Um, yeah, you see, I met her at the tea festival last week, and we were supposed to hang out again, but I haven't been able to find her. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. You must be mistaken. I don't think that's our Amane. Amane wouldn't have gone to a festival. She doesn't like tea anymore. Pretty sure. Wait, I have a picture. This is Amane, right? Oh, yes, that is our Amane. But what is she doing at the tea festival? I thought she didn't like tea anymore. She quit working at the tea shop to go do finance or business something. Didn't Amane used to do some type of promotional stuff for the tea shop where she worked here? Yes, but she got bored of us. We're too old for her, too traditional for her new ideas. She wants to do something more interesting for her career. Oh no, you got it wrong. That's not what happened. She told me she took the internship at the finance company so she could learn more about marketing. She just wants to help the tea shop. That's why she was at the tea festival. I was helping her figure out what new customers would like. Oh, Amine, what an industrious girl. Is that so? We had no idea. Thank you very much for telling us. Otto, maybe you should call Amine and apologize us. Yeah, I will give her a call. Oh, um, about that. So after the tea festival, she gave me her number and, well, it got smudged. And I was wondering, oh, yes, no problem. I will give you her number. Really? Wow, thank you. It is no trouble. It's been so long since Amine showed any interest in the boy. We want Amine to be happy. But she won't be young forever, so we're happy to he help her along in a romantic life however we can. Um, alright, thanks. Here is her number. Thank you. Wait. This is, this is definitely not the same number. Why would she give you the wrong number? I don't know. I guess the number she gave me was fake. Maybe she wanted to hang out with me. Maybe she didn't want to hang out with me after all. No, that can't be our Omni. It's not like that. Especially to such a handsome boy like you? Just give her a call. You can use the number we have. You know what? That's okay. I, if she did, if she did give me a fake number, then calling on her real number would be well. I don't want her to think I'm a stalker or something. She would not think that. You are a good person. I am sure Amine thinks so too. This must be a misunderstanding. My wife is right. You are such a nice man to come and tell us about our daughter's new work. We didn't even know she was doing this internship for the tea shop. We are so grateful you told us. She's so busy with her new work, we hardly get to sit down and talk with her anymore. That reminds me, I know Amine is having a meeting at a company tomorrow at 9.30, I think. She told us about it the last time she came to visit. She was very excited. It's part of her big project. I know it's none of old. Not none of old. You really are getting old. Ah, yeah, it's none of old. My memory isn't what it used to be. We won't call. Go to, na go to none of old. Volt. At least to meet her there and ask her in person. You two can sort out this. Did she give us our work phone number? Okay, yeah, I'll think about it. Please do, I'm sure this is just a misunderstanding. I don't want to take up any more of your time. I think I'll be going. Thank you so much for your help, Mr. and Mrs. Yamamoto. No problem. My friend of Amine's is a friend of us. Please come back anytime. Remember, tomorrow night, there ain't none of old. Of course, it's a fake number. How would a girl that that cool give you someone, give someone like me her number? She even told me I was her test subject. I can't believe I actually thought I had a chance. I'm so stupid. Her parents seem to think I still have a chance though, which is weird in its own way. You know what? I've come this far. Why wouldn't I go see her? Her parents could be right. Maybe it is a misunderstanding. Detective Jared never gives up blast. Never gives up a chase. Tomorrow 9.30, huh? Good thing I don't have any plans. Alright guys, I will catch you next one. See ya.